Mexico. Good afternoon. My name is Bill Cobb. I'm a retired Rear Admiral in the United States Navy, class of 68 at the Naval Academy. For the past several years, I've had the great honor of being the keynote speaker to the opening of American Legion Boys State every summer at Radford University. As you know, this year, unfortunately, we had to cancel the in-person part of Boys State because of the pandemic. That having been said, however, I am delighted to be able to share a few thoughts with you and I'm thinking about you as we face this pandemic together. This is a tough time for our country, but patriotism, one of the key hallmarks of the American Legion and Boys State in general, which by the way has been held for 78 years, patriotism is never out of fashion no matter what's happening in the country. We'll get through this pandemic together and once it's over we'll be able to resume next year. But until then, I'd just like to give you my congratulations on being the best of the best. You've been selected by your teachers, by your administrators, and your various high schools all over Virginia because you are the best of the best. You're the best young men in your school. Some of you are athletes. A lot of you do, government, uh, do uh, community service. And many of you do things in the community to boost your school's reputation, and that's a good thing. So what are we trying to teach in Boy State? What we're trying to do is first learn about government, about how the state government works. Now I was lucky enough to be elected to Boy's Nation, one of the two senators from Virginia Boy State, and I went up to the University of Maryland. We, we met a lot of people in the government and it was just like Boy State only on a, a country basis. To that end, what are we looking for? What are we looking for you to, to uh, get into? Well, number one, remember when I went to Boys State, it was 1962. That was a long time ago, 58 years ago. We have no idea what's going to happen 58 years from now, by the way, when you're my age, 75. We have no conception of what that's going to be like, and we certainly didn't in 1962. We had our first American orbiting space, John Glenn, whose family lived in Arlington, Virginia, by the way, even though he lived in Houston. Uh, first American to go around the earth three times. That was a big deal. They got a ticker tape parade. We got off from school to, to see it. It was a tremendous uh, achievement for us. Now going into space and going to the International Space Station and all these wonderful things that we've been able to do, going to the moon, is just commonplace. But in those days, there were no personal computers. You look at somebody's desk and there'd be no computer, no iPad, uh, no iPhone, none of that, no electronic calculators. If you had to do functions and trigonometry, you had to look it up in a book. And now you just have this little pocket calculator that costs maybe 20 bucks, and you can do all that stuff automatically. So, a lot of progress will have been made. But back to my original point, just because the years change doesn't mean that patriotism changes. It doesn't. You have to believe in this country. This is the greatest country in the world. And I don't care if you're Democrat or Republican, it doesn't make any difference. What makes a difference is you have a choice. In many countries in the world, and I've traveled all over the world, I can tell you there are many countries in this world that don't have that choice. We do in America, but only if we keep America strong. And the way to do that, again, is back to patriotism. Respect for the flag. I expect all of you, and I'm sure you will, have respect for the flag. Many millions of people have died over the years to have the right just to have a flag and to have it waving freely. So. Again, remember this when you go back to your schools. I would expect and hope that you'd be role models in behavior, in, in scholarship, in athletics, in community service, and all the things that you can do when you're back at your school. This is another thing the American Legion Boys State teaches, character. Character is the most important thing you can have. You're either known as a good guy or a not a good guy. And if you're known as not a good guy, it's awful hard to get your reputation back to where it should be. So when you go back to your schools, remember these lessons and remember you're representing all the good young men in this state. Now I hear from time to time from some of my old time classmates and they say things like, well, you know, this generation just isn't the same as our generation. They're not as patriotic, they're not as smart, etc., etc. And that is a bunch of baloney. That is not true. You will be the greatest generation, I assure you. 
the people of today, the youth of today, are so much better than we were. It's not even, it's not even a close race. I can tell you that. We were pretty good and we were pretty smart, but you're smarter and you're better. You're certainly more aware because of the internet. So using that, building that character, and behaving yourselves, and representing your school, these are all important things. These are values that never get old, no matter what year it is. I would just close and, and say that it's been a great honor for me over the past several years to be the keynote speaker. I'm so sorry that we can't do it in person. I really enjoy it. It's a highlight of my year. Uh, I, I enjoy the questions. I enjoy the interaction back and forth. I wish you good luck, uh, and hopefully everything will be fine for next year when we go back to Radford University. So thank you very much. Have a good day, and, and have a great Virginia Boys State. Thank you.